Printify tutorial, how to use Printify for beginners step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with Printify. So let's get into it. Now, Printify is an amazing platform that enables you to create high-end products with your own designs. They have the best selection of products available. They have robust scaling and higher profit margins as compared to the other print-on-demand services. So if we take a look at Printify, what they basically do is that they provide you with template materials such as phone cases, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and so much more. And you can create your own e-commerce store using Printify where they will handle the creation, shipping, housing, you know, warehousing of all of your product. And all you have to do is design. So if you're a designer, if you're an artist and you want to focus on the design aspect of your business, then you can remain focused on that while still having Printify handle all of your store necessities. Plus Printify connects to all kinds of e-commerce platforms such as Squarespace, WooCommerce, Wix, Shopify, walmart and many other platforms so you can see that it will not only enable you to create a small business but you can expand and scale to quite a large level now to get started with printify all you have to do is simply click on start for free on their home page once you click on start for free you can begin by registering on their application it's very simple you can continue with your email address and password you can set one up and you can even get started for free using google so we can continue with google over here and i'm just going to continue with my google account you can choose to create your account via your email as well now after that this will be your home page so in your home page you will be able to see your start selling section then you have a catalog in this catalog section you have different templates so you are going to select what kind of item you want to create from over here you have multiple different categories such as home and living accessories kids clothing women's clothing men's clothing and some bestsellers as well so you can see these are their bestseller category which means that people people like to design on these categories the most then you also have things such as featured products these might be new products interesting products that are uh, you know a little more expensive or a little more niched out but still are their featured products you also have things such as eco-friendly or assembled in the united states if you want to you know ship to united states customers then you can focus on things that are assembled in the united states now you also have things such as bulk discounts on their platform where the more you order the lower the price gets but there are a few things you need to keep in mind with printify the first thing is that on printify let's say i search for in their catalog i search for t-shirts for women you can see i have several different listings for t-shirts now although all of these are vetted by the printify platform these are vetted sellers they're not going to scam you they're not going to defraud you but you might get a better price with one seller you might be able to negotiate off platform with one seller and this is what sellers are doing they are other people as well that's like the bulk industry business they're setting up their platforms on printify and they are allowing you to create designs on them so you have multiple different listings for a similar type of item such as t-shirt or cap or hoodie or sweatshirt now to get started with creating your own products you simply go into their catalog and you can begin designing your product but before you do that you have your store so you can see currently i have not linked my store anywhere yet but if you want to connect your store you can simply click on add a new store and then you have multiple different e-commerce platforms that you can link you can link wix you can link walmart uh, etsy shopify squarespace ebay and there are multiple different options available let's say i have a wix e-commerce store and i want to connect it so i can go on ahead and go to my wix site and then connect from over there this will open up wix for me and i can continue on to my wix account and then i can choose the e-commerce platform that i have on wix that i want to link up to printify so let's say i want to link up silk scrunchies i will just click and click on agree and add and just like that i'm going to connect wix now you can see that wix has been added or you printify has been added to my wix store you have whatever e-commerce support platform you're using you can go on ahead and link that now first off the first thing you can do is click on your catalog and you're going to select whatever you want to sell let's say i want to go into the um, accessory section and i want to sell face masks so i'm going to go into the face mask section over here 
and let's say I want to sell a cotton face mask or let's say I don't like these maybe I want to sell something else so I'm just going to go into the accessories section and I'm going to look at uh, maybe I'm going to look at phone cases. So you can see over here, there are a bunch of different options available. So let's say I want to create these. Uh, you can see they have multiple different prices. Let's say I want to start my business with a without gift packaging, all over print or phone cover back. So you can choose all of these uh, options as well. And let's say I want it to be, yeah, so I think I want them to just continue on and i'll just look at it i want to go with the lowest price i want to sort them by the lowest price so the lowest price i'm going to get is uh nine dollars and seventy cents and uh it's going to be seven dollars and forty seven cents with printify premium if i do subscribe to a premium version of printify but let's say i want to use their tough phone cases so i'm gonna get this and i can click on start designing over here and now I can begin designing. So you can see I'm getting this little uh, preview and what I can do is I can uh, add custom text. I can use my Google Drive or Fiverr images. I can click on graphics over here and begin designing them as it is directly on their platform. So I'm just adding this to my library and this is now added. Now I can, you know, change the size and place it over here like so. And let's say the background is going to be white and you can see the different phone models. So let's say I want to, you know, view how it's going to look like on multiple different phone models. So I can select the one that I want to focus on and you can do a counter check just to see how it's going to look like on different phone models or, you know, different sizes. So let's say I want to design for the iPhone 14 like this. So I'm just going to be designing over here like so and then i can go into uh, the next section i can just continue on save product and just like that i have like a simple little mock-up now you can see this is going to give me a mock-up with the how it's going to look like the description the variants that i might want to sell so i'm if i only want to sell for the iphone 14 and then you can also enter your profit margin so this will cost me nine dollars and 89 cents and i can retail it for 16 dollars now in this way you can add products now i'm going to show you guys another simple example but there is something i do recommend for you guys is that you should not use printify directly for your designing you can use a better platform like canva which is going to enable you to create more interesting designs you can create a lot more interesting designs on canva like this and you can really customize it you can make it look a lot more appealing so let's say i have this design over here and you know i can make a design that is a little more interesting to look at with canva instead of using printify and once you've done that you can simply go on to printify open up their product catalog choose your product and click on start designing over here so you can see over here this is showing me the area that i can design and i can just zoom out and i'll zoom in a little and then I can choose how I want it to be. Maybe I want to go back to the catalog. Maybe I want to do all over prints. So you can see you have multiple different uh, sellers available selling, selling a similar item. And you can see the ratings as well. Now, let's say I just want to print the front side and I will just click on start designing. And I can click on over here and I can click on my device and I can just upload my design that I just made. And from here, I'm going to enable the different variants that are available. Let's say I only want to sell this in white, brown and natural. And I will just update this and then my design will be laid out. So like so, let's say I want to just, you know, print this on the back side. And then I can add the backside design as well. I can also add a neck label so you can write whatever you might want in your care instructions, in your design. Maybe you want to add your brand name as well. So once you've done all that, you can go on ahead and link the product onto your Shopify store. So in my My Product section, I can see this product and I can select it and I can click on publish over here. And now the product will be published onto my Wix e-commerce store. It's going to be published to whatever e-commerce store that you guys collected. Now, while we wait for this to be published, I'm going to show you guys the different plans that Printify has. So 
Printify starts for free with only zero dollars a month. You can uh, link up to five stores per account and you can create unlimited products. Then on their premium versions for $24.99, you can connect up to 10 stores. You can create unlimited product and you also get upwards of 20% discount on all products. So for most products, you get like a $2 discount. And then they also have their enterprise version depending on your needs. So uh, you can see now our product is in stock and I can click on see in store over here. Now I can go into my Wix store and see how my product is looking like. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.